Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the Bird's Custard Powder. This is the first time we've been able to have a custard um, in our home. And uh, thanks to Jill. Jill sent this over from the United Kingdom. She also sent us these Christmas puddings. I have the... Uh, Flavorina Christmas Pudding. This one is from Little. And then I have the Holly Lane Christmas Pudding. And this one is from Aldi. And I think we've tried both of these, but we've never tried them from cu with custard. And every time we try one, someone says, you have to have it with custard. You just have to. So, we're going to make this. You need two tablespoons of sugar, and Jill said she makes hers with less sugar, so she probably only uses one tablespoon. But you need two tablespoons of sugar. Oop, look at that. <laughs> look what I just did. Well, that lid went down in there. I'll be darned. Okay, <laughs> I will clean this up. Yeah, oops. So you take two tablespoons of this. Okay, and then you take two tablespoons of milk. And then you stir it up, and we're gonna make this in the microwave. You can make it um, on the hob, it said, uh, but we're gonna, we're gonna do it in the microwave. And that, uh, the milk is a pint that is a pint of milk that we started out with. Yeah, slightly over two cups. Okay, that looks good. And so I'm gonna pour the remainder of the milk in the bowl. And we're gonna put it in the microwave and we're gonna microwave it for three minutes and then stir it and microwave it for three more minutes and then it will be ready to go. So this is what happens when you microwave it. We, we had it in here for three minutes, we stirred it and it set it for three more minutes and when we came back, it looked like this. So what are we gonna do now? Just uh, eat what's left in there? Probably. Okay. And if I were to make it again, I'd get a bigger bowl, I guess. I guess, we had no idea. So we're gonna do this all over again. Um, and this, on the stove on this time. The, on, the, on the hob, on the stove this time. So I have my two tablespoons of sugar again, and I'm gonna, now I know the little, okay. It'll go inside. Yeah, here we go. So then you're gonna get two tablespoons of, of the custard powder. Okay, and then you get two tablespoons of milk out of your one pint and you stir it once again and it's going to make the paste and the remainder of the milk this time is going to be poured onto this saucepan into the saucepan and we're going to get it to nearly boiling on the stove okay my milk is almost boiling so you pour it into the pan and you stir it and then you pour it back into the pan and you put it on the stove and let it boil and then you can take it back off. Slowly. <laughs> so we have our custard. It did not boil on yeah. the stove. It takes longer on the stove. It takes Definitely. much, much longer because you're supposed to uh, bring it up at slowly. that last time. You have to bring it up slowly to a boil. So it does take a lot longer. Uh, so we have that ready. We also read after the fact yes. that you can adjust the thickness of the amount of milk you have. So. We've never made it before, right? So we would probably use less milk if we were next time we make it, so it thickens it up more yes, like a pudding. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so Kevin has the Aldi uh, Christmas pudding, and I have the little. This is the um, a rich six-month matured Christmas pudding packed with plump vine fruits and glacé cherries, laced with cider, rum, and brandy. 
and it is 288 calories for the entire Christmas pudding. Kevin has the Aldi Holly Lane. It is six month matured Christmas pudding, richly spiced pudding packed with juicy vine fruits, glass A cherries, and laced with brandy, rum, and sherry. That's exactly right. It is 303 calories though. So it's, but we've had these before, like I said, and we did not, um, have the custard to try it with. Now, do you want me to pour it over? I would just do it over top of it. Um, just know, like we said, we've never made it before. I don't even know that I've ever seen custard, so we don't know how to make it. Did we not have it during tea at any time? I don't remember having. We probably we've had we had a cream. Right, but not but not, not custard. custard. No. So, do you want to try the Aldi first? Whichever one you want to go for. And what did, you said something about the packaging. That one of them did not Oh, the, the one, I can't remember which one it was. The Aldi. Think, no, the Aldi one no, worked. it was the little. The Aldi one, I was able to grab the edge of the plastic and pull it. The, um, the, little. the little one, I had to actually take a knife and start cutting around it and then grab it and pull it open because it didn't want to come open. It, was, it wasn't any lip around the plastic. Is that custard good? Mm-hmm. Can you actually taste the custard? It, I think it adds a sweetness to it. Of course, the spices in that, in that pudding are so strong. They are very strong. Um, if it was thicker custard, I think I would like it better. So you would add, uh, would not add as much milk next time? No, I, I'd cut that milk by, instead of a pint, I think I have a cup and two thirds of, of a pint. I have two thirds of a pint okay. instead of a pint. Uh, that, the Aldi though, that is, that is very good. It is good. Okay, let's try the little. I say that we don't know what we're doing just for those people in, in England that are going, oh, that is so screwed up. That <laughs> leave, really messed that up. leave a comment. Like, I'm sorry. Leave comments. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> when you've never even seen something, it's kind of hard to duplicate it. <laughs> it really is. Mmm. <laughs> I like that one better. Do you? Yeah. yeah. Mm. You didn't? No, no. No one. You, you don't have to have the same opinion. No, I'm just going to... I'll tell you what I think the difference is. I like them both, but I, what? I think the Aldi one has more spice in it. Like, a, there's a stronger spice in the Aldi. Yes. That isn't in the little one. Right. And maybe you don't like that spice. No, I like the, I like it. But not as much. But not as much. If I were to uh, have a choice, I would choose the little. The, yeah. uh, There's the a sharper spice in that Favorina one. is what it's called. Favorina Christmas pudding. The, the only one has a, a, there's a spice in it that's a little sharper. Right. Uh, that's probably what you don't like as well. Right. I like the little one too. I like it better as well. So I would buy that one as well. Um, I don't mind this one. It's like one spice. Yeah, there's one spice they put a little bit more than the other one. To me, they put too much. Yeah. I would rather have less and be able to taste um, the you raisins. Can, yeah, you can everything. taste more of the stuff in it. Yes. I agree. But I do like the custard. The custard's good, it just needs to be thicker. Yes, and I'm wondering, did we say that we could keep this in the refrigerator? I don't know if it's because, there. Because I have, um, I might have to look that up if it doesn't say on the container because this made quite a bit <laughs> and I, um, I have another recipe that I want to use it with. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in a smaller bowl and put it in the refrigerator so that I'll have it for, but it's supposed to be hot. Is it supposed to be hot? Well, I would It said think. you could serve it. It doesn't necessarily have to be hot. It doesn't have to be I don't hot. Know. We can always make it again. If it, I would probably do it in the microwave again in a bigger bowl, what? in a bigger bowl. I would, get the, I would get the big bowl, <laughs> but you're also using less milk, so it's not gonna That's true, boil over as quick. Use, yeah, well, uh, we'll just have to see. I'll have to see if I can keep this or not, because if I can keep it, then why not? Because right. I don't want it to go to waste. Uh, but, but it is good. It does add a really, it adds a, a sweetness to it, and it adds a, a moistness to it. And you would think that I hate wet bread, so you would think that it would be like 
wet, that it would be gooey or something that you wouldn't like it, but it really is very nice, is very, very pleasant. Um, so thank you so much, Jill, for sending it to us. I'm sorry that it was a di disaster, but you know, it was our first time ever, so we'll get better at it as we go along. So I hope you all enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.